Hey everyone, it's Grace and welcome back to my channel. So today, I've been dying to do this um, video. Um, may mga ibang products pa kong hindi natatry, pero I really want to do this video already. So, ayun. So, it's all about sunscreen. So, I have a few different sunscreens dito. Ang dami kong natry na sunscreens dito. May isa kong gustong itry, kaso... Um, hindi ko pa siya mabili. It is available online, but it's not like a super need yet. And it's the Lux Organic Sunscreen, yung bago, which is something they say na very, very light, and I love something like that. Pero, isi-share ko muna sa inyo guys yung mga sunscreen na meron ako ngayon. If you guys struggle with acne scarring, um, dark spots, anything, hyperpigmentation, I highly recommend you guys who wear sunscreen every single day. Kahit nasa loob lang kayo ng bahay, guys, wear sunscreen. Even if naka-quarantine tayo ngayon, I still wear sunscreen every day. That's the first thing I do after I wash my face. So, I've struggled. I haven't shared with you guys my skincare routine, mainly because I'm still... I mean, I have a routine down, pero kasi yung pinaka-staple na products ko, I've run out of it. So, after the quarantine, since I still have some to, like, finish through, after the quarantine, doon ko palang ipipick up yung mga skincare items ko. And I know there's a few of you who have asked about my... Uh, uh, oh, there's a few of you who've asked about my skincare routine. And yes, I've been saying na-upload ko, but promise, na-upload ko talaga. It's just... Gusto ko talaga i-share yung pinaka products na nag-work talaga sa skin ko. But, yeah. So, this is a small chunk of my skincare routine and what worked for me when I was struggling with acne scars, dark spots, stuff like that. So, maybe two years ago, um, I've, I went through adult hormonal acne. Halos puro dito sa jaw. Was here's the jaw and mainly the cheeks, and hindi siya maliliit na pimples, guys. They're cystic, very very big pimples. As in, lalo dito sa jaw, like jaw dito, sin kumpulan sila jan, guys. And it masakit siya na um, pimple, kasi ang lalaki talaga nila, guys. And halos every day may bago once something heals, and I knew right there and then na. Uh, um, I have to switch up my skincare routine and I know I would have to deal with acne scarring. Of course, I've used creams as well. Pero the thing that I feel like really like progress or nagpabilis sa pagtanggal ng mga dark spots at acne scarring is sunscreen. I cannot emphasize that enough. If you are struggling with acne scarring, I highly recommend you guys check into using sunscreen. May iba iba akong sunscreen dito. Depende sa sa mood ko. <laughs> well, hindi yun ang pinakauna. Depende sa texture ng skin ko or how my skin is doing that day. Meron din ako bawat season or sometimes kasi nagbamadali ako and I need a sunscreen na can offer moisturizer and stuff like that. Okay. I'm gonna start off with the sunscreen that I've been using ever since I was in college. Kasi I started wearing sunscreen every day. Well, nung college hindi every day yon. Kapag lumalabas lang ako, ngayon lang ako na super naging religious sa paggamit ng sunscreen every day. But that is the Bior or Bior UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. So, if you have oily skin, this one can actually work as a moisturizer and a sunscreen. May, -moistur mo may moisturizing effect siya, but then it's not super heavy or oily. And I love it underneath my makeup as well. This one has an SPF of 50 PA Quadruple Plus. So, yun. Although may mga ibang nagre about this one if you're just gonna use it alone. As I said, may mga ibang nagre about this one. Kasi kapag medyo oily ang skin nyo guys, um, talaga pag oil up kayo. Kasi medyo may pagka-moisturizing aspect siya doon. Pero one of the things... I've used this for years, maybe five years, six years now. Ilang years na mga graduate ng college? Two? Three? Oh, so, ayun. So, super, super love this. Plus, it's very, very light on the skin and it never irritated my skin. So, yun. Now, if you find that a bit too moisturizing or hindi nyo siniset, because sometimes I still set my skincare. I use a pressed powder. Or kapag ayaw mo mag-pressed powder, gusto mo completely sunscreen lang, I highly recommend the Buy Your Face Milk na nawawala. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung saan napunta because I recently just moved back home so, kalat-kalat yung gamit ko. But yeah, it's the Bure Face 
milk. Yun mas mas mat yun. So I'm not really sure how it would work for those who have dry skin kasi medyo talagang mat effect talaga siya. And it has a bit of white cast. This one doesn't have a white cast upon application. It's in very glowy lang itsura ng face nyo. That one has a little bit of white cast mainly because mas matte finish siya. But yeah, that's Nung summer, yun yung madalas kong ginagamit kapag lalabas ako. I was, I'll just do my brows, put on lip tint, and then put the face milk then. Yun. Again, same with the um, Aqua Rich Water Essence. Hindi siya mabigat sa face. It never irritated my skin. It's very, very light. And yeah. But anyways, this is the Bure Oil Control Base UV. Meron sila ng Brightening Base UV, which is the pink one. They're actually both kind of the same. Yung oil control nila, pretty the same. Even if this one is oil control base, while the other one is brightening UV base. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila, this one is skin tone. Yung color. The other one, white siya. The brightening UV base ng Bure, mas naiven, na, hindi niya naiven out yung skin tone mo. Mas nababrighten up na yung skin tone niya. So usually, if my skin feels a little bit dull, Yon, yun yung ginagamit ko. Now, this one is a hybrid product. It's both a sunscreen and a makeup base. So, usually, pag nagmamamadali na naman ako, wala akong time to do a different sunscreen, a different um, primer, I would go for these. Although, napansin ko, mas konti ang laman ng mga um, base UV ng Bure compared dito. And I think they're roughly the same size. Ah, hindi pala. Kaya naman pala. This one is 50 grams, which is basically 50 ml. This one is 30 grams. So, yon. Meron silang isa pa, yung kulay pink. Pero wala ako. Nawawala. Yon. Yon. Ang naging problem ko, hindi mo problem, pero masakit siya sa bulsa. Kasi this one is 450 Pesos, same with this one. They're roughly around the same price. 480 ala to. Or 450 to 480 yung price range ito. I tend to hoard this when I go to different countries. Um, of course, not everyone has the luxury to do that. Or syempre, pupunta ka lang na ibang bansa para bumili ng sunscreen. Te, hindi. But I, kasi yung presyo nito sa Taiwan was 350 or 300. So Hong Kong, around that price. So doon lang ako nag hoard. Ito na yung last. Ito na ba yung last? Hindi ata. May isa pa ata. May isa pa nito. But, if you are gonna use sunscreen every single day, syempre, medyo may kamahalan siya, bes. So, um, this one actually works. This is the Bello Sun Expert UVB UV Pshushu. Mas konti lang ang SPF nito. This one has an SPF of 40 and triple PA+. This one is 349.75. So, mura siya ng 100 pesos. Kung isipin nyo, 100 pesos lang naman, but hindi na lang yung Bior. Guys, kapag madalas nyo siyang binibili ang 100 pesos, malaking bagay na yun. And this one, it's also very, very light on the skin. It's also hyperallergenic. Um, non-comedogenic, anti-aging, paraben-free, non-sticky, and this one has 50 ml. O nga pala, ang Bjorn na face milk has 30 ml. Medyo mas malit siya. But, yun. For the time being na wala ko ng Bjorn kasi, or bisan tinitipid ko siya kasi mas mahal siya, ito yung madalas kong ginagamit. Ito rin yung nare-recommend ko sa mga friends ko na medyo nabibigatan pag laging binibili to. Again, same with this one. This one feels really, really light sa skin. Um, it never broke me out. It didn't feel, fell. <laughs> it didn't feel sticky. And yeah, although this is not a matte sunscreen, ano siya? Parang ganito. Mas lighter lang na konte yung texture niya. So yon. Next would be, ito yung sunscreen na ginagamit ko kapag um, I need a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one. Na mas matindi yung moisturization compared dito sa Bior UV Acorage Watery Essence. As yung ginagamit ko to kapag siguro around mga December to Feb, kasi doon medyo mas dry yung skin ko. Uh, my, my skin type, it's combination oily, but kapag mga days na yun, medyo nagda-dry up siya. Or if I'm going to a different country na fall or winter, ganon. I don't really like going to winter, but I love fall. Um, this is my go-to one, and I love anything with snail secretion. Anything with snail in it. This is the Coser X Shield Fit Snail Essence Sun. This one has an SPF of 50 and PA triple plus. Now, this one talagang yung, yung finish nyo, guys, medyo oily siya. 
but I really really love it underneath my makeup lalo pag gagamit ako ng matte foundation very very moisturizing and wala lang feeling ko nahihil yung skin ko dahil nga kasi my snail this one never broke me out this one has a little bit of scent little bit of scent. Medyo scented siya na very very slight. Pero halos hindi mo siya ma... O nga, lahat pala ng mga sunscreen dito they're all fragrance free or if ever may scent man, very very slight. As in yung unang pagbukas mo lang pagkatapos hindi mo na siya maamoy. So ito lang ata yung pinaka... No, 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 no. Ito yung second na medyo may fragrant. Tama ba? Yeah, very very slight lang. But I really really like this. I feel like nag... Ano, feeling ko inaalagaan ko talaga ng bongga yung skin ko pag ito ginagamit ko. As in, super moisturizing. Even now, kapag kailangan ko talaga ng extra moisture, tas nagbamadali ako. Ito, this one is a bit pricey though. This one is 800. Binili ko to sa... You can find this online, but I bought mine from Beauty Bar. Pero na rin ata to sa mga selected Watsons. I recently tried it because itong mga sunscreens na to, except the Bello, I feel like would work better. Um, wala talaga dito yung water resistant or what, na, not naman waterproof pero water resistant. Because when I was in Boracay, iba yung ginagamit ko sa katawan, iba yung ginagamit ko sa muka. Yung ginamit ko sa muka, itong Bior. And to be honest, mas nasunog yung muka. Hindi naman mas nasunog. Um, mas na sunburn yung face ko compared sa katawan ko. Mainly because it doesn't really stay sa face. So, kapag nag-swimming ka na lahat, ganun. So, I, ha I had to do a separate skin uh, sunscreen for my face. Doon ko lang na-realize. So, ito ang sunscreen ko sa muka kapag mag-beach kayo. Or if you're gonna do heavy um, uh, beach sports. <laughs> or basta kung mag-sports kayo, magpapawis kayo ng bonggacious. This is the Beach Hut Face. Oh, face. <laughs> beach Hut Face. Sunscreen. This one has an SPF 65. Ito yung pinakamataas. Although, I know if it goes over 50, wala naman talaga yun. I mean, it's pretty much useless. So, ayun. This is SPF. It's sheer, ultra sheer lotion made for sensitive skin. It's ultra sensitive, hypoallergenic, and yeah. Itong brand na to actually, guys. Hindi ko siya pasyadong pinapansin. Kasi... Eh, what? Hindi <laughs> ko siya pinapansin. Pero I recently decided to pick it up. Nakita ko lang siya sa Landers. So, ayun. Ito na yung ginagamit ko pag sa beach. Because it's very, very light still. It's not as light as these two. Kasi compared sa mga sunscreens ko dito, ito, itong dalawa yung pinaka-lightest ang feeling sa mukha. But, mas nahi-shield niya yung face ko. So, ito yung ni-recommend ko, guys, if magsiswimming kayo. So, although you can still use it on a day-to-day -day basis, ginamit ko rin to. Pero, hindi siya yung ganun ka-light. Medyo nararamdaman ko siya sa mukha. Pero, yon Next would be Sun Stick. This is the Clio Kill Protection Clear Sun Stick. So, yun lang itsura niya, guys. Tapos, kaganyan-ganyan niyo lang siya sa mukha niyo. Para to make sure all bases is covered. Yun lang yung gusto ko sa mga sun sticks. As in, bawat crevice, surface ng face mo, alam mong sure na may um, sun stick. Yun lang, yun lang yung gusto ko doon. Although, this is not my favorite sun stick. This is actually my first sun stick. Medyo may sticky texture siya. So, usually yung ginagawa ko, sineset ko talaga siya ng powder. So, ayun. This one has an SPF 50. If you just want na parang Kuha ko lang to on sale. Although, if you have any suggestions for sunstick, then please comment down below kasi may gusto pa akong itry na sunstick. Kasi minsan ang sunstick talagang ginagamit ko pag talagang tirek na tirek yung araw kasi talagang lahat talaga. Alam mong covered ng sunscreen. So, ayun. Next is going to be sunscreens that you can use both for your body and your face. First one is the snow or snowy. Here comes the sun cream. Instant white lotion. Has an SPF of 50. This one is around 600 pesos. Snow or 600-500 pesos. Um, the snow is a local brand here in the Philippines. Um, madaming variants to. I think apat. Uh, this is the original one. So, ang gusto ko dito, it's very, very light. Very, very light. Um, although, matinde ang white cast niya. So, I actually don't like using this underneath my makeup. Or, kapag kasi pag pinawisin ako, medyo nagsislide off siya. It's not completely water resistant as well. Pero, I just wanted to try this um, because it's very, very matte. It's almost, mas matte siya compared sa Bior UV Face Milk. 
mas matto and medyo matindi yung white cast niya. I do like to use this um, from time to time, but I by the end of the day I will not recommend it mainly because I have others that I prefer. But it's nice to have something that you can use both in your face and on your on your body. So, yon. This one okay naman siya, guys. It's just that papakita ko sa inyo ha. Teka lang. Matindi talaga yung ano niya, white effect niya. Hindi nyo makikita yan, pero may white cast yan, guys, kapag medyo madamidon na. But, ang gusto ko dito, it sinks in really, really fast. Yun yung gusto ko. Mas madalas ko itong ginagamit sa katawan, kasi hindi talaga siya sticky. As in, yun ang halos, hindi nyo na siya maramdaman ko sa siya nila, guys. So, I would recommend this more on the body rather than the face. Kasi kapag nga nag-pawis kayo, makikita nyo yung streak ng white ng sunscreen nyo. Yun. Then lastly is the Derm Plus Moisturizing Sunscreen Ultimate 130. Now this one is for face and body. Water resistant siya guys. SPF 130. Huwag nyo pansin niya guys. Kapag over 50, wala na talaga yun. Okay? So, ayun. I do use this for my body. Ito talaga nag-work sa akin na nagbura kaya ko. As in, nakatirek na tirek yung araw. As in, talagang covered na covered. Nag-work talaga siya guys. And... This one is a moisturizing sunscreen. So, hindi siya sticky, not like the other sunscreens, but it's not as dry as this one. Although, it absorbs quite quickly. Pero, okay guys, so, naubuso na ang baterya kanina, but I was in my last um, sunscreen, but it is water resistant. So, talagang mag-work siya. Of course, it won't guarantee you na hindi ka iitim, pero hindi ka naman sobrang iitim if sobrang major concern yung pangingitim nyo. Which, for me, hindi talaga. I do love being tan. As in, grabe ako ng bata, guys. As in, talagang sunog-sunog ako. I don't mind. For summer, I really want the tan. And sometimes, I, I don't know, para mas na-accentuate yung features ng face ko kapag tan ako instead of like being really fair. So, ayun. And the thing here nga is water resistant siya. I don't use it on my face though kasi medyo matindi yung white cast niya. Um, so, I did use the Bior one nung nagbura kaya ko. So, dun ko lang na-realize na mas okay to for beach. So, ayun. And the thing I love about this one, it is matte and it sinks in really, really nicely. Pero hindi naman siya yung sobrang matte tulad nitong snow. It kind of may balance siya ng matte and still providing moisture sa iyong katawan. And plus, hindi siya sticky. Pinaka-problem ko sa mga sunscreens talaga, I hated wearing sunscreens when I was a kid. Kasi nga, di ba you have to wear sunscreen? 30 to 40 minutes before you swim or go outside under the sun, I hated it. Kasi talaga, I hated the sticky feel, feeling. Lalo yung ano yung copper tone na, na sunscreen ba yun? Basta yun yung uso dati, yung copper tone. So, this one is actually pleasant sa katawan. So, yun. So, hope you guys like my sunscreen recommendations. Of course, they're still there, out there, na gusto kong itry. For now, ito muna. So, maybe in the future, I'll do another video. Pero for now, ito muna. So, hope you guys like my video. Again, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!